Namaste. Welcome to Apna Yoga. This is Apurva and I'm really excited for today's session as we are going to practice the Surya Namaskar. Let me first start out with the definition. Surya means sun and Namaskar means salutation. And in total it means the sun salutation. Now this is comprising of 12 different poses all strung into one to form one practice. Each of these poses have different benefits and targets different body parts giving you a complete and incredible stretch and warm up to the entire body. I can guarantee you that no other exercise can give the same benefit all in one go as the Surya Namaskar. Let me also bring to your attention that uh, it should be practiced on an empty stomach. So try it first thing in the morning or before you have dinner. Alright, so let's get started. In my first demonstration, I will be focusing on the alignment and the correct postures so you don't practice it incorrectly and have a uh, unnecessary injury. In my second demonstration, I will, I'll, I will be focusing on the breathing. Alright, so I issue karte hain. Let's start with coming to the front of our mats. Keep our legs shoulder width apart and slowly join your hands to a namaste and stretch your arms out. Bring your hips forward, arch your back and slowly drop your hands by your feet. You may bend your legs to loosen up your hamstring and slowly bring your left, your, sorry, your right leg out. Make sure your knees are in alignment, they are not forward. If you bring it forward, it puts a strain on your knee, so just in a 90 degree angle. Next, left leg back, come to a plank position. Stare at uh, two to three feet ahead of you. Drop your knee and your chest. Keep your hips up, chin on the ground. And with a chaturanga, lift your body up to a cobra. Straighten your arm. Look up, or if you're comfortable, you may look forward. From here, tuck in your toes. Come to a downward dog. Make an inverted V with your body. And from here, as you straighten your body, bring your right leg forward again and slowly your left leg forward stretch and bring your arms up to the sky doing the arch and a namaste so this was with our right side we still have to complete our left side which forms one set of Surya Namaskar all right so let's do with our left leg now. Bring your feet together, shoulder width apart. Namaste. Hands reaching the sky. Hips forward, arching back. Drop your hands down by your side. This time, left leg back. And then right leg back to a plank. Drop your knee, your chest, your hip stays up, chin down, and from here do a chaturanga. Slide your bo upper body up, and a cobra, and from here, tucking your toes, come to a downward dog. straightening your body to a plank and at the same time bringing your left leg forward this time take note the same leg that you bring back first is the same leg that you should bring back first all right and then right leg forward 
Namaskar to the sky, arching your back. All right, now in my second demonstration, my focus is on the breath. Breathing is really important in the practice of yoga, especially Surya Namaskar. Every posture should have a set of breathing. So it goes like music with each posture. It should not be out of tune, it should be in rhythm. So in the Surya Namaskar, every time your body goes forward, you need to exhale. And every time your body is uplifted or going in a backward direction, you have to inhale. So it goes along with the action. If I go forward, it's exhale. And if I, my body goes up, it's inhale. All right? So in this demonstration, take note of my breathing. Starting from Namaste. And in our first pose, as we breathe in, as we lift our hands up to the ceiling, we inhale, arch backwards, and as we go forward, we exhale, hands to the ground, inhale, right leg back, hold your breath as you shift your left leg back, dropping your knee to the ground, exhale, and as you lift your upper body up, inhale, and as you lower to a downward dog, exhale, and as you bring your right leg forward, inhale, hold your breath as you bring your left leg forward, and as you lift your body up, inhale, and exhale to a namaste. All right, you'll get the hang of it as we keep practicing, but the key and the shortest way to remember the breathing is when your body goes down, you in exhale, and if your body goes up, you inhale. All right, let's do our practice slowly, and then we will slowly increase our pace. So just follow me guys and take it easy. Slowly namaste and hands up in the air, arch your back, hands drop to the ground by your feet, right leg back, left leg back, plank position, drop your knee, hip stays up chest down, chin down, and chaturanga to a cobra, flatten your toes, tuck in your toes, downward dog, and as you straighten your body to a plank, bring your right leg forward, and then your left leg forward, stay to the ground, and bring a namaste to the ceiling, Arch your back and down. Now for the left side, so we complete one set of Surya Namaskar. Let's try, let's do this again with a smile. Take a deep breath in and out. And inhale, arch your back, exhale left leg back, inhale, hold your breath, right leg back, plank, exhale as you drop your knee, hip stays up, chest down, chin down, and inhale to a cobra, flatten your toe, tuck in your toe, exhale down the dog, and plank position, Get ready to bring your left leg forward and slowly your right leg forward. Stay down. Namaste. Inhale up, arch back and relax. Congrats, we've done one set of Surya Namaskar. So, 
all you have to do is pace your speed accordingly and as much intensity that you wish to achieve go with that so this Surya Namaskar if you do it faster it actually kind of becomes a cardio and it targets all parts of the body so let's try it one more time I can slow down if you want so let's do take a deep breath in and relax and another deep breath in and relax slowly and stay up to the ceiling hands arch your back and forward hands down to the ground remember right leg back and look ahead left leg back plank drop your knee drop your chest hips remaining up chin down and chaturanga to cobra flatten your toes flatten your feet to the back and then tucking your toes downward dog and slowly come to your plank as you come to your plank bring the right leg forward and then left leg forward slowly do a namaste to the ceiling arch your back and come back down to the front very good now i'm going to teach you a different variation to the surya namaskar if you like a little more of a challenge you could modify it into a different way all right i'll show you the difference so this is a harder or and a more difficult variation for people who like more of a challenge so namaste breathe in arch back exhale forward right leg back left leg back this is where the difference uh, is so in the first variation it was knee chest and chin down and hips up in, and in the second variation which you wish to achieve a, a higher difficulty level you do a chaturanga with your entire body down and then a cobra you flatten your feet and then tucking your toes you a downward dog and continue the rest in the exact same manner got it let's try one more again once more again with our left leg okay so keep up with me as we try the second variation take a normal breathing with a smile on your face and inhale up exhale down this time left leg back right leg back plank position this is the harder variation so chaturanga all the way down and a cobra flatten your back everything on your upper body should be off the ground and then tucking your toes do a downward dog this time left leg forward right leg forward keeping your hands on the ground and a namaste to the ceiling and down all right so how did you like the surya namaskar i gave you two variations today try out you could start out with the first variation which is for beginners and if you want stronger shoulders and more toned arms try the second variation all right so i'll show you an overall complete one set once more this is with the second variation which is harder so take a normal breathing breathe in arch back 
and exhale forward hands down right leg back left leg back plank chaturanga and slide your body forward to a cobra flatten your toes at the back flatten your feet and then tuck in your feet and get ready for a downward dog and come to a plank and as you come to a plank bring your right leg forward and your left leg forward and an arc namaste and again the next half with our left leg breathe in and down left leg back right leg back plank chaturanga and slide your body forward flat flatten your feet and tuck in your toes get ready for downward dog and as you come to a plank bring your left leg forward and your right leg forward namaste to the ceiling and namaste back all right that was a very good warm up with the Surya Namaskar. I'm sure your body feels really energized and boosted from the Surya Namaskar. What we do with the Surya Namaskar is we add on different postures and form forming a vinyasa flow. So Surya Namaskar is the base and adding more postures to the Surya Namaskar it forms a vinyasa flow which also helps in fat burning. So let's do, now that we are getting better with the Surya Namaskar, let's start with different, uh, add, let's start to add different poses to it. And hope you guys enjoy this one. All right. Calm your body down, take a deep breath in. And out. Take another deep breath in and out. Bring your palms together. Set an intention, set a goal for yourself for today's session. You set the tone in a practice and it will help to set the tone for the rest of your day. Your intention could be to achieve a peace of mind or a healthy body, a fit body. It could be to loosen all those tensed muscles. It could be anything that you wish. All right. And you take a deep breath in. back, left leg back, and slowly make a triangle, an inverted V, and lift up your right leg and rotate your ankle, bend your leg, and from here, bring your feet in between your legs, and slowly lift your arms up, pivot your back foot to 45 degrees and come to a warrior one and from here we are going to um, tone our our thighs so from here keep your arms in the ceiling and inhale straighten your feet straighten your leg and exhale lower Inhale, straighten your feet. Exhale, bend. Are you with me, guys? And inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And from here, come to a warrior two. Keep your arms in one straight line. Gaze forward. And very slowly rest your right hand on your 
thigh and bend the left arm to the side and slowly warrior two and swing back down arms down right leg back come to a plank and a downward dog and from this downward dog lift let me come to the center lift your left leg to the back and rotate your ankle loosen up your left leg and from here land your left feet in between your hands pivot your back foot to 45 degree angle and slowly come to a warrior one and hold this position keep breathing smile and slowly come to your warrior two keep your arms in a straight and a straight line catch up with your breath come to your warrior one and straighten your leg inhale exhale bend inhale straighten exhale bend inhale straighten exhale bend and come to warrior two rest your left leg on your left thigh and relax and reach your right arm to the side and feel the stretch in your thigh and come to warrior two and slowly forward bring your left leg back plank and finally drop your knee drop your knees to the ground and come to a child pose and surrender now you've got yourself a well-deserved break in this child pose so Catch up with your breath here. of the Surya Namaskar and very slowly come to a tabletop position and cross your legs and come to a Sukhasana. enjoyed this practice of the Surya Namaskar and gained a lot of insight in a way to warm up the entire body and also achieve fitness and toning and strengthening especially through the Surya Namaskar session. So before we end up this session, let's, uh, I I've told myself I'll try to be a little more useful in these yoga sessions. So I'm going to give you a few tips, a few dietary tips. Um, in Ayurveda, it is said that your immunity decreases when you have a lot of toxins in your body. So the way to reduce toxins is to try to get your food 
digested as much as possible. Toxins are caused with undigested food remaining in your stomach and in your body. That is how immunity reduces. So the more toxins uh, are left in your body with undigested food, the lower your immunity is. So in order to increase your immunity, you have to reduce the amount of toxins in your body. And that is that could be through eating and through exercising. Also, you could add you could add a lot of spice, uh, a certain amount and certain amount of spices and variety of spices in your food. Very good ones are coriander, cumin, uh, black pepper, and of course the very famous turmeric haldi in your food. Even just a simple, you know, sprinkle of black pepper in your salad or a sprinkle of black pepper in warm water will just do it for for you guys or and also another way what you could do tonight is pour a glass of water uh, pour water into a glass and add some cumin se seeds and leave them overnight and the next morning tomorrow morning you could have that glass of water draining the cumin seeds and have it on, on an empty stomach first thing in the morning that helps you to reduce your weight it helps to um, prevent water retention in your body so that is one tip for you guys so that's all I have for you today guys thank you for joining in let's do a gr moment of gratitude before we end take this moment to be grateful to our surroundings have a slight smile on your face close your eyes palms together be grateful to the surroundings be grateful to the people around you be grateful to your health be grateful body that functions and most importantly be grateful to yourself be kind to yourself and take every opportunity to be kind to your body and treat others the same way and very gently and slowly you may open your eyes Apna Yoga and I'm Apurva, your yoga instructor. Apna Yoga is brought to you by Apna Television. Thanks for joining me. Remember to stay safe, stay home and please be kind. Namaste. Yoga is the journey of the self, through the self, to the self. Apna Television presents live yoga sessions morning 7 a.m. and evening 5.30 p.m.